This segment will cover how to demonstrate the ECT3000 short and open finder using the new PowerProbe demo board. Demonstrating the ECT will use the lamp circuit, the lines that run around the outer perimeter. You'll notice there are two buttons, one to create an open circuit, one to create a short circuit. And it's a multi-branch circuit, so you'll see how it operates more similar to how it is in a vehicle. Um, now these lamps can be turned on with the two on off switches there and simply you're going to create it. Let's start with the short circuit. You're going to create a short by pushing the short circuit button. You heard it pop the circuit breaker. I have a little red light on here that indicates it's popped. If it was a fuse, it would blow the fuse. Now the way the ECT3000 works, it's a two-part tool. There's a transmitter that will be connected to the vehicle's battery. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, it has a signal output that you will connect to the wiring or circuit that you have suspected problem with. And then there's the handheld receiver, which there's two antennas. This one here is for the open. This edge here where it says short is for the short circuit signal. And that'll essentially follow that signal down the wire. And at some point you lose the signal is where your break or your short in the wire is. Pretty simple concept. It does take a little technique to get the best results. I am will kind of show you that on this board. Now, this signal wire is putting out a signal and most people, I don't know if it's by habit, but they tend to plug it in where the fuse goes. Um, and that may or may not be the best place to work from. You know the fuse is blowing, so there's at least a short from that point somewhere along the circuit. But the transmitter really doesn't care where you inject the signal. I can inject the signal here. I can inject it farther up the circuit. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's going to go till it hit the signal will go till it hits the short or the open, uh, regardless of where you're, you're injecting the signal. So you're not stuck plugging it in the car's fuse box. You can, you can inject it other places in the circuit. Maybe it's easier to work from the, you know, maybe on a trailer or something from the lamp side to the short, that direction. That's why the kit includes things like light bulb adapters. All right, but for this demonstration, we will plug it right in here. And that tone indicates and that light indicates, yes, there is a short circuit somewhere on this circuit. And normally you'll turn that off. But if something were to change, some condition change where that short went away, maybe you're moving the wiring harness around, it would change to the open circuit signal. Okay, so it's putting this signal into the circuit. And if I turn the receiver on, oh. Okay, so our ECT transmitter is injecting the signal into our circuit and signifies we do have a short that we're chasing. Now, Understand any path to ground, it considers a short. So even a normal circuit going through a component or a light bulb, this tool thinks that's a short. That's perfectly fine. You'll see how this tool gets around that though. Um, on the transmitter, you're gonna see a couple of things here. Uh, we have, this is the open signal antenna. The short circuit signal antenna is right on this edge here. There are two buttons. This one does the power on and off and adjusts your sensitivity up. This black button uh, is your sensitivity lock button, probably the most important step when using this tool, and will adjust your sensitivity down. We'll talk about sensitivity in a minute. So basically you'll turn this unit on and you'll see real quickly, I'm picking up a signal. In fact, it's on all these wires, even the one that doesn't have a short circuit. Um, 
But that's the importance of the sensitivity lock button. So normally you find a spot close to where you've injected your signal, or if you have to use the green wire and signal wire itself to set your working distance, go ahead and do that. Um, and then you'll set your working distance and hit your black lock button. I'm gonna do it up here. I'm gonna go about an inch out, lock it in. Now you'll see my signal's locked and I'm, I'm about one inch. It's approximately one inch for every one of these lights that are lit and you can adjust the sensitivity up or down. Um, and you'll see it picks up the signal. So now I'm locked in. You see it's telling me the direction to the short. So no matter how I hold the receiver, those arrows will tell me which direction to keep moving. Um, notice it's not picking it up on this wire now because it's gonna take the strong signal, which is the signal that's going to the short circuit. Even though there is some signal going down through this lamp, We've locked it in to the strongest signal, so it's only gonna follow the leg of the circuit that actually has the short circuit. Now you may notice it reads off that bottom edge where it says short, and it's also directional. So see if I hold it this way, no indication, but this way it does. So that's what kind of keeps you on track when you're, when you're moving through a car. Obviously you don't have nice lines to follow, so you keep moving generally the same direction and if it loses signal, check it didn't turn on you. Oh, there you go. And at some point, you're going to lose the signal. And it's no direction to be found. And you can be pretty confident that's the area where your short circuit is. Then you can pull your paneling or carpeting or whatever the wiring's underneath. Uh, but you haven't chased it all the way through your car. Now to demonstrate an open circuit, we'll get rid of our short. We'll reset our circuit breaker. Now on this, I'm gonna push this open circuit button. Let me turn that tone off. I'm gonna push this open circuit button and that'll create a break in that wire. So now only one of our two lamps is working. Now two things when using the ECT on an open. Uh, number one, you don't want voltage on the circuit like I just did. Uh, it'll It'll, it won't give you a good signal to track. So you'd have to, number one, remove the voltage from the circuit. And let's just do that by tripping the circuit breaker. And you want to isolate the circuit. So I don't want to go chasing down this one. So I'm going to turn this circuit off. Now clearly, I have an open and an open only. It's not indicating like it short it was like it was before. So again, we'll take the receiver, we'll turn it on. I'm just gonna use the green wire. Notice now the signal is the center dot. That's the open circuit signal. There's no directional capability for open tracing, unfortunately. So I'm gonna lock it in. A little tighter than that but it works essentially the same way let me give it a little more sensitivity oh yeah it's the tip and at some point now I can go to here and it's gonna go across that switch and go open or I can go here and it's gonna go down that wire and as soon as I pass that where it says open circuit, no signal. So open circuit tracing is slightly different. There's no directionality. You kind of have to get really close to the wire with the open circuit antenna. Um, 
closer than you do with the short circuit. The short circuit signal is a much stronger signal because it actually has a path to ground. There is some current that happens. Whereas the open circuit signal is just sitting in a bare wire, kind of like an antenna. There's no current flow.